Mazda is the only car company in the world to successfully bring to market and mass produce the Road for Engine. It's a symbol of the company's tirelessly challenging spirit and as the soul of Mazda's brand, it represents the unique and innovative technology that helped establish the brand and create a solid bond between Mazda and its customers. That is why the Rotary engine's research and development continues to this day. Yes, the last Rotary was discontinued back in 2012, but that doesn't mean that Mazda has given up on the Rotary. In fact, Mazda has been hard at work since 2015 with the RX Vision which was and is the vision of the next Mazda sports car. Now, since the start of development, the RX Vision would have had a rotary power plant. Since it has been shown off and been in the works since 2015, many believe that it was just a pipe dream that would never come true. Well, I have good news. Mazda has confirmed a new rotary engine for the MX-30 range. So, the rotary is making a comeback. But today, we aren't talking about the MX-30. I did make an entire video on the new Rotary and the MX-30 and I'll leave a pop up here. But today, we are talking about a fully fledged sports car, a replacement for the legend, the RX-7. So Mazda has filed for a patent on a hybrid vehicle that uses a Rotary engine and a small electric engine for hybrid assistance. The patent images show that Mazda's future sports car will feature a tri-rotor engine with a 48 volt mild hybrid system, rear wheel drive and a rear wheel drive layout. Now Mazda has made many two rotor engines, but the three rotor was only found in the super rare Cosmo, a luxury sports car Mazda produced back in the 90s and the three rotor found in said Cosmo was and is still the most powerful road going engine Mazda has ever produced. So to say that I am excited for the possible new 3 rotor engine would be an understatement. Just take a look at what is possible with the 3 rotor. So why did it take more than 10 years for Mazda to bring back the Rotary? Well, that's simple. Emissions. Rotaries weren't exactly the cleanest engines. So Mazda had to find a way to make them greener. So they had to test and develop. And I don't really mind that they took their time, as long as it makes a comeback. Nothing sounds quite as cool as a Rotary at idle. <laughs> Now we do know a few things about the new sports car. We know that the engine will feature direct injection, similar to the Skyactiv X engines. Now like I said in a previous video, Mazda is experimenting with hydrogen internal combustion engines. So they might utilize this technology, but it is not confirmed yet. But even if it is powered by normal gas, with electric assistance, it would make the rotary much lighter on fuel and much greener. Since it doesn't have to rely on the internal combustion engine all the time, it can switch between the two systems. But this is a performance car, so who cares about fuel economy? Let's talk power. So no power figures are confirmed as of yet, but the three rotor in the Cosmo made 300 horsepower and 400 Nm of torque. So I feel it's safe to assume that this car would make between 300 and 350 horsepower with the rotary engine alone and 400-ish with the hybrid assistance. In other words, it should be a competitor for the 400Z and the new A90 Supra. And I am really excited to see and hear more about this car. So as soon as I hear more, I'll make another video. But let me know what you think. Do you think this thing will actually come through or is this just one of those things where they hype everybody up and then it just never actually happens? Unfortunately, that does happen quite often. So let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on cars, new cars and new technology in the car world. So if you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?